Hey, you, hiding in the bathroom. Have you ever wanted to be a bow legend like this? How about like this? I have got to review these clips a little bit better. No, I mean like this. One down! That one's dead! Well, uh, finish up whatever you got going on in here and I'll show you. Dr. Poop Love here and I have nine tips to help you become a bow legend in The Last of Us multiplayer. And if you wanna see more Factions and Factions 2 content, then give that subscribe button a little ear cleaning. But let's get right into it. Tip number one is, if you haven't already, check out my video, 10 Tips to Improve Your Aim. Although the bow has some clear differences to the other guns, this will help you build the basics that you need to advance further. Tip number two is to understand the differences between the bow and other guns. And in particular, understand the reticle. The bow reticle will show you the exact trajectory of your shot and can tell you that you are hitting an object. When the reticle circle closes, that means you are dead on target. This can help you know that you will hit your target, but be careful because it could also be a little bit misleading due to travel time. Most other guns, except for the bow and the crossbow, have no travel time, meaning when you fire, the shot lands right where you aimed it at the same time. But the arrows of the bow fire slower and take time to travel to the target. So in order to be successful, you need to be able to adapt your aiming strategy accordingly, which leads me to tip number three. Tip number three is to lead your shots on moving targets. You need to be much more predictive with the bow and fire based on where you think the enemy will be in the future. Slow moving targets allow you to stay basically on their body, but in order to hit a fast moving target, you need to aim and fire leading a little bit ahead of where the enemy is at any given time. When the enemies are close, you don't need to do this as much, but when the enemies are farther away, it requires a bit more of a lead. Take this example. With the enemy moving this way, I take my bow and I aim it just a little bit ahead of him and fire. By putting this into practice, you can be much more successful with the bow. Now let's check in on our poop apprentice and see how well he's doing. Oh, there you are. You're getting better, but you still need a few more tips. Let's get into them. Tip number four is to adapt your play style to the weapon. The bow is a silenced weapon and it's also harder to use. So in most cases, you're gonna be more successful if you are going for a more stealthy approach. Adapting a flanker or a lone wolf type play style and allow your team to be out front and to create a distraction. This gives you more room to aim and get your shots in while doing so mostly undetected. When getting shot with an arrow, it's very hard to detect where it's coming from. So the more you can remain unseen, the more successful and easy it is to get your shots in appropriately. Despite stealth being a very viable option with this weapon, you can also be successful using an aggressive playstyle, which leads me to tip number five become a hard target. When facing off against an enemy, you want to spend a lot of time moving, trying to throw the enemy off. Wiggling back and forth and vaulting between shots throws the enemy off and allows you more opportunities to get your shots in. An effective way to do this is wiggling or vaulting, throwing the enemy off, allowing them to shoot some shots and miss you, hopefully, and then finding good windows of time to fire in between. Although headshots will down in one hit and it's always good to try for headshots, you're more likely to be successful in very aggressive situations going for body shots. So I would start there and then work your way up to getting headshots in those close aggressive scenarios. Aggressive combat scenarios are also a great opportunity to use the drag shot technique that I talked about in my aiming tips video. 
when your reticle pans over the enemy, it slows down, and so you can use aim assist to do some of the work for you. Tip number six is to combo the fuck out of them. Now the bow body shot does a little over half health, and so getting one shot in and then following up with a melee, especially a plank, is really effective to down super fast, but one shot and two punch combo is also effective. Usually I wouldn't recommend comboing in this game, but you have a bow, it's kinda hard to use. Combo away. Tip number seven is to use perks that set you up for success. Agility two is in my opinion a must have because it not only helps you flank faster, it makes you a much harder target. Covert, Lone Wolf, and Sharp Ears are also very helpful as well to help you stay unseen and find the enemies quicker. Tip number eight is to upgrade your bow at least once. The unupgraded bow is not really enough. You need the benefits of the upgrade to be successful. Double upgraded bow is the ideal here, but it is expensive. So if you are struggling, get one upgrade and then start using armor for more protection. Tip number nine is to practice and pretend that the bow is the only weapon you have. It really pisses me off that when you start any match with a bow, Naughty Dog starts you off with your sidearm equip. It's almost an assumption that you should not be using the bow as your primary weapon. And maybe that was the original intention, but in order to actually get good with a bow, you need to make sure that that is the main gun you're using. If you're constantly relying on your sidearms or your throwables to save you, you're never gonna really improve with the bow. So what I like to do is use the bow only and only resort to those other things when you've run out of arrows. So how do you feel? Do you feel like a bow legend now? Hey, careful. Careful where you're pointing that thing. What? What? What's going on? What are you doing? I taught you everything I know. Now you're killing me. How? How could you? Oh my god. Ah. Go, my poop apprentice. Go. Make something of yourself. Be better than I ever was. Uh, uh, uh. Dr. Poop Love here, and I hope those tips really helped you with the bow. Let me know how it works for you, but otherwise, so long, Pooper Troopers.